<laughs> hey everybody, it's Matthew of Mr. Domestic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a pair of tights from an existing pair of tights. No, this isn't for me, it's for my daughter Helena. She has this size tights, so she's almost five, and of course these are size 10. <laughs> and from these, they fit her perfectly. I've got some amazing four-way stretch knit that happens to be mine that I'm going to make some tights out of using this as a template. So if that's what you're here to learn, then before we get into the content, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And anytime you're enjoying this video or you get a tip, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Now let's get ready to have some fun okay, together. Okay, so here is my knit print from love to pieces yay this is my first project using it then I'm pattern matching it right here because I'm gonna cut both legs at the same time right so I pattern matched it this is what I'm using I'm folding this in half just to make sure that it's all even it makes it a lot easier you avoid making it wonky so now I'm gonna fold this in half and try and get it the same width as the leggings. As you can see here, it was too narrow. It's not wide enough. So now I'm gonna make it even wider. And I'm using, for this print, I'm just using one of the, the gladiolums as a center point, knowing that it's gonna be a mirror on the other side. And now I just lay the leggings on top of it once I've gotten it all smoothed out. And the fold is right there so that that's where the edge or the side of the legs are going to be and I need excess on the top and excess on the bottom for the hems and now I'm gonna use my Taylor's chalk and I I don't need a ruler <laughs> I'm just gonna use my Taylor's chalk right here and do an outline it's kind of curved kind of straight so I'll use the ruler a little bit whenever I'm cutting it out I use a Taylor's chalk here and I continue the outline all the way to the end and this is gonna be so pretty I'm so excited yay right here as you can see I left a half an inch of seam allowance that's about what I'm gonna use on my domestic machine I'm sewing this with a domestic machine and now I get my rotary cutter and I get my ruler and yes I'm not gonna cut away from me because I'm on video and I need it to look a certain way so here I'm just following that curve and then using the ruler to cut the straight part. And that's how I do it. The curve, I think I got it. But then the straight part, I want it to be straight because these are leggings, you want them to be bomb. So I'm going to, this is how I kind of do it. Like I have the edge on it a little bit and then I move it slightly, see? And I continue to move it. Oh yeah, oh, there you go. <laughs> and ta-da! Now I have cut the legs and I am so excited. This is amazing. That's one leg, there's a second leg, yes! So before you head over to your sewing machine, fold it onto each other, each leg, and use a jersey or ballpoint needle. And I'm using this stretch stitch at the regular settings. Now I'm going to stitch up each of the legs. You do that first. I like to start right at the crotch seam right here and then go down the leg just to make sure that that crotch seam is perfection and i'm doing it at a half inch seam allowance remember that's what i left on the edge and i don't pin or clip definitely don't pin it but if you have clips you can clip it i don't because i like to make sure that it's even as long as you don't pull on it whenever you're sewing with knit and just allow it to go where you need to. As you can see, I'm using a special foot. This is a move it dual foot, but anytime that you are stitching with knit, you at least want to use a walking foot. Here's a picture of what a walking foot would look like because this allows the fabric to glide through. As you can see, that's the stitch. Ooh, stretchy, 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 stretchy. That's why you need to use a stretch stitch. You wouldn't be able to do that with a straight stitch. Now I'm going to stitch the second one. I'll fast forward it so you don't have to watch me do the second one in real time. Okay, so now that the two legs are done, see, this is the crotch seam where the two sides of the leg met and i want to match this crotch seam to the crotch seam of the second leg and i if you want to clip here you can i still am not going to clip because i like to start in the middle i feel like this will reinforce that crotch seam so i make sure that those 
like the four way seam is lined up and I'll start stitching right before it. And I'll stitch over that four way stitch, but you really wanna make sure that this is all even because this is the one the one seam the one intersection that really counts and as you can see i'm making sure that it's all laying properly before i get to sewing because you don't want to pull on it it'll get all wonky and warped and now i'll right, stitch up this one side and then i'll fast forward so you don't have to see me do it in real time now that one half is stitched up i'm going to start before that four-way intersection of seams again. And I'm gonna stitch up the other side of the top of the pants. And then you've gotten the main frame of the tights done. So I'll fast forward again this. You don't have to watch it in real time and move to the next step. So now I've brought the original tights and the tights that I've just sewn over. I'm gonna make sure it's right. Ooh, thumbs up! Yay, it fits amazing! And I just wanna make sure that I have enough on the top and enough on the bottom. And I need twice as much as you would think on the top because of the way that I'm going to put the elastic in. And I'm just, I'm not even, I'm using a white Taylor shock, so I'm just gonna cut it right here because I can't see the chalk line on white. And that's what I need. I'm gonna do a double fold essentially once I sew in the elastic instead of doing a tube. And then on the bottom, I just need enough for it to fold once, right? So I'm going to cut an inch under and I'll use my Taylor shock here just to make sure that the line is exactly perpendicular to the other line, like the leg line, that it's um, not skewed or diagonal at all. So make sure it's all uh, it's flat, put the ruler on, as you can see it's exactly perpendicular, and just go ahead and cut, 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 cut it up, cut it up, now you're done, yay! So I like to press my hems on pants or tights or anything inside out. So it's inside out and now I'm going to fold it over and guesstimate about an inch, it looks about an inch. And then as long as it's straight and not slightly diagonal, it looks straight, I'm gonna press it. For knit, I don't use steam when I press it because I have found whenever I use steam that the knit will roll a little bit, but if I don't use steam and use high heat, then it doesn't roll and it keeps it in place. So that's just a tip. And instead of folding the other one just at an inch, in case I cut it off, I just wanna make sure that it's even here. So I'll use the top one as a guide, fold this one over, and then just, I'll move it around until like the bottom one is the same exact length as the top one. I think I pretty much got this one close to right. Yeah, it looks pretty right. So then now I'll, I'll heat set this in place. And then I found this is enough for me to go over to my sewing machine and sew it. See how that rolled a little bit? This essentially is flattening that out so I'm good to go. And so, yay! So I cut the elastic the same width as the pants and I tested it on Helena to make sure that it was comfortable and then it's ready to connect. Okay, the first thing over at the sewing machine and I am using about a one inch, it's a woven elastic and this is the setting. It's a zigzag, at a minimum do five millimeters width. You can go all the way to seven millimeters and then shorten it down. And then I'm just gonna go over it a couple passes. So I'll do one pass, Go all the way through. <laughs> Go all the way down and then just turn it. Like lift up your foot and then like turn it. And not your foot, foot like your foot on your machine. <laughs> and then make another pass. And then I like to do just a third pass after this and you don't have to go all the way on the third pass. And this should catch it enough. And I'll be, I'm done here. Yay! And I will show you the stretch of it. See? Secure, 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 secure. So I am doing the bottom hem now and I'm just measuring it this way. I'm not gonna sew it close. I'm measuring it to put the guide there and I am using what is called a super stretch stitch now. It's a different kind of stretch. It goes forward, back, forward as a stitch. And then this is how I do it. It's gonna be hard to see with my fingers in the camera, but essentially I'm sewing on the right side. You can barely see it. And I just do a little bit and then I, I stitch and then I do a little bit 
and then I stitch. And I do it this way because I don't want to stretch this out and put it over, what's that thing called? You know, that little thing underneath when you remove it and then you put it and you do the circle thingy. I don't know what it's called. If you know what it's called, then put it in the comments. But this is too small of a hole to do that. So I do it this way and I know it looks like my fingers are close, y'all. You don't have to worry. There are always some people that I make anxious when I sew. This is a no judgment zone. Don't worry. I've only sewn through my finger a couple times and it's not going to happen in this video. <laughs> so now I'm done with this one and let me show you what it looks like. See, that's the inside. You don't have to worry about knit, it doesn't fray. And then that's the outside, that is super duper clean. Yay! Okay, so these are tights and not pants. So I'm going to sew the elastic into the waistband because it's round about the same length or width as the waist and I don't need to create a tube and then put the elastic inside of it because there's no bunching or anything here. It just fits differently. So I am aligning the elastic on the outside first. So I, I'm doing it maybe at an eighth of an inch on the top. I'm using that super stretch stitch again. You can use any kind of stretch stitch. And I'm going to stitch around the entire perimeter of the top this way. And I'll fast forward so you don't have to see it in real time. So now I have sewn all around the top of the elastic like this, right? And now I'm going to fold it once onto the inside, right, like that. And then I'm going to fold it one more time. And that's going to create a nice, pretty waistband on the inside and the outside. And so now starting, I like to start like at the back seam generally, but since there's no front or back, just at one of the seams. and then. I'm going to use that super stretch stitch again on the bottom and I already know where the guide is because it was one inch elastic and I can feel it with my fingers where the bottom of the elastic is and I want to stitch almost like I'm edge stitching right on the edge of the bottom maybe less than an eighth of an inch and now I'm going to use that super stretch stitch and stitch all the way around the top and it's going to create a nice lovely stitch line on the top and now I'll fast forward so you don't have to see this whole thing in real time. And now I have stitched all the way around the top and see this is that hem stitch. Lovely. And look, it stretches. Ding, ding, ding. Yay. And these are the finished tights. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> so yay, you have made a pair of bombastic tights. And anytime like I'm being silly, like I'm basically always being silly with Helena, I always put tights on my head. So I'm going to end the video <laughs> with her tights on my head because it makes her so angry. <laughs> So when she sees this video, she'll be like, Donna, what are you doing with my tights? <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, got some fluffs or a tip or a trick or two, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Keep it positive, y'all. Mr. Domestic Out. <laughs>